Hello, welcome to Star Daily Holly News. I'm your DJ, Gun. Last Friday night, I joined the party with my friends and I met this girl, very lovely and cute. So, you know, it's been a million years since I dated last. So, I approached her and I showed my interest in her. And, I, you know, we hit it off. But there's a one thing that bothered me. That was a big age difference. She was, she was 20 and I'm 30. 10 years age difference. So what do you think? I am Minho. I am Shiny. I am Ki. I am Minho. On April 30th, a showcase for the movie I Am was held at a CGV movie theater in Yeongdong, Po, Seoul. Many actors representing SM Entertainment, including SNSD, TVXQ, Shiny, Super Junior, and Kangta attend the event. It's no wonder the tickets for the showcase were sold out with only 550 seats available. All SM's artists brightened up the high-profile showcase, and it was broadcast live on Mnet.com all over the world. I Am is a biographical film featuring SM Town's artists and their years of efforts and the stories behind the process of becoming world-famous stars, the first Asian singers to perform on the stage at New York's Madison Square Garden, a center of pop music. The high-profile movie will be released on May 10th. G.I. Joe Retaliation will be released in June. Actor Lee byung second Hollywood film, G.I. Joe Retaliation, is slated to open in theaters. In the film, a sequel to 2009's G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, Lee reprises his role as Storm Shadow, the ninja bodyguard of Cobra Commander, the film's terrorist organization's leader. Compared to his relatively small role in the first film, the sequel features a deeper portrayal of Storm Shadow and his conflicted stance in his loyalty to both Cobra and G.I. Joe. As with the first movie, Lee stars alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Bruce Willis and Dwayne Johns. His co-star Bruce Willis also praised the Korean star Lee byung saying in a recent interview with MTV, Lee showed some action moves that I could never do. I want to make another movie with him if I ever get the chance. G.I. Joe Retaliation will come out worldwide in June. Chang geun unwillingly left as an asked is Yuna on Love Rain. In the episode of KBS 2TV's drama series Love Rain that aired on May 1st, Jin said goodbye to Hana, hiding the fact that Ina was his father, as he found out that she sincerely wanted her mother, Yuni, to be happy with Inha. However, Hana did know that it was Jun's decision for her and everyone else, and she endlessly cried. Jun heard Hana by saying harsh words, but he also had a hard time because of what he said to her. In the episode, Jun came to Hana drunk and gave her a hug. He looked at her with affectionate eyes, but said, I don't feel anything. As Hana asked, you really don't feel anything? For real? In tears. Jun said, don't bug me and don't make me be mean to you. Let's finish here. Leaving Hana alone, Jun got in his car. However, he soon came back to her and increased the viewer's curiosity. Park Yoo-chan of JYJ has become the latest K-pop star to be involved in a car accident after working late into the night. Ilgan Sports reported that Park's manager, who was driving the star despite his drowsiness, crashed into the back of a truck at around 1 a.m. on April 26. The van was badly damaged and Park complained of neck and back pain immediately after the accident. Still, he wasn't able to see a doctor that day due to a filming commitment. Park, like the rest of the staff and crew working on the drama set, only manages to get about two hours of sleep per night. The show is practically live as they are always trapped for time before it airs. Everyone is exhausted and so I imagine that the manager was fatigued and in no state to drive," said a source who works on the set of Rooftop Prince in which Park is currently starting.
All right, thank you for joining us. And you always welcome your comment and question. So log on to our website, www.stardailynews.co.kr and send them to us. All right, this has been your VJ Gun, and have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.